Hello and welcome to another episode of Drum Synthesis 101 with F Expansion Tremor. In the first couple of episodes we looked at fairly simple projects, a kick drum and a snare drum. This week we're going to take a look at something a little bit more complex, uh, a crash cymbal. As usual, if you're following along with F Expansion Tremor, you can download the preset that I'm working on from the YouTube description below. And of course, you can follow along with uh, just about any synthesizer, although this week we will be making use of Tremor's Cloud Oscillator. If you're using another synthesizer, then it would help to have two or three different oscillators to mimic the harmonics that the Cloud Oscillator can create. So let's take a listen to the preset I'm working on. And let's take a listen to that crash cymbal. So it's a nice weighty crash cymbal. It's got a lot of the fizzy top end, but it's also got this kind of wow element in the body, which is an emulation really of the way that cymbals resonate when they get hit and the resonances change as the cymbal keeps vibrating. So I'm going to start by resetting this particular uh, drum and now we've got Tremor's default sound. I usually start sound with uh, just getting the amp envelope correct so we've got uh, the correct shape to the sound if you like, the correct amplitude shape and uh, for a cymbal obviously we want a long decay That's about right. And then we'll uh, make some adjustments to the oscillator. We're using a square wave shape. And we're going to be using the cloud oscillator. So we're actually hearing eight different partials in the oscillator which gives us all the different harmonics and we're going to automate these using LFOs. You can see here the peak control allows me to adjust which of the partials is the strongest. If we just play So that gives us that kind of wow sound. I'm going to use LFO2 at a very slow rate and uh, we don't want it synced to host tempo so I'm just taking that off there. Um, at a very slow rate to adjust the peak here. Now LFO2 will re-trigger every time a note is triggered so it will always start at the same point. Let's add in some noise. Now that's not bad but it's got no real bite at the front end so we're going to use an envelope, a fast envelope to uh, just push the just to push the overdrive a little bit in the very first transient when um, essentially when you're emulating the drummer hitting the cymbal uh, you get a sharp kind of spike in volume uh, and we can just use the fast envelope on a very slow, uh, sorry, on a very fast setting just to give us that crack at the beginning it 
it's starting to get pretty close. I'm going to use uh, a slower envelope here just to help get rid of the noise in the very first transient so the noise will actually creep in after we get that initial bock at the beginning of the sound. So the last thing really to get right here is the filter uh, and instead of a low pass we're going to use a high pass. Uh, add a little bit of resonance, make sure the cutoff is around. And there we have a nice crash symbol. Join me soon for more Drum Synthesis 101.